Like a beautiful garden, our team has grown strong through the nurturing of parents, teachers, and industrial mentors. They share their experience, support us, and teach us valuable skills. We've put these skills to work by mentoring many teams in both FRC and FTC. 341 helped our team in a number of ways. First of all, they were the folks that we went to to get the idea. And then secondarily, they helped us convince our headmaster and board that this was a great idea for our school. We are also firmly rooted in our local community, from the demonstrations we hold in elementary schools and libraries, to the strong support we receive from our school. Team 341 has really changed the climate in the school district. It's helped to increase awareness among the students for careers in the field of science and technology. Ms. Daisy can also be found throughout our region and around the world, bringing the message of FIRST to science museums, trade shows, and even pro basketball games. To celebrate International Youth Day and the FIRST mission, Miss Daisy journeyed to the United Kingdom to demonstrate at the Farnborough International Air Show in partnership with BAE Systems. While over 35,000 people around the world have driven Miss Daisy, we never forget that the spark of inspiration happens one person at a time. One young girl, Katie Trageser, attended our first ever demonstration at an elementary school back in 2000. She later became our team captain and is now studying aerospace engineering at Penn State University. For over a decade, Miss Daisy has been reaching out and bringing the first message to millions through newspapers, television, radio, books, and film. In the fall of 2009, Miss Daisy was featured nationally in the PBS documentary Gearing Up. The film was broadcast in 90% of the public television market, reaching millions of homes. Miss Daisy also works closely with our congressional and state representatives who attend our events, provide funding, and even invite us to speak about FIRST in the state capitol. There must have been hundreds, if not thousands, of people who saw the robotics teams in actions and uh, were able to enjoy them and also to appreciate the, the level of skill and expertise it took to put the machines together. Team in a Box is an instructional DVD that we've created as a free resource for all FRC teams. The next update will include closed captioning and an updated technical section. Ramp Riot is an annual off-season competition hosted by our school. For thousands of students, Ramp Riot is their first exposure to robotics. In fact, 75% of teams at the Philadelphia Regional train their rookies at Ramp Riot. When I first went to Ramp Riot, I didn't expect it to be on the grand scale that it was. I was interested to see that all the kids are working together and learning from each other. In two years, over 120 girls have taken part in our Girls in Gear Interactive Girl Scout program. The scouts learn about machines, meet role model engineers, but more importantly, they learn about the power they have to change their lives. Being on FIRST truly has changed my life. It has shown me what I want to do in the future. It has just taught me skills about working with other people and has given me so many opportunities I would not have had if I had not joined this team.